There was a man here, but he's disappeared as you look. There was a dog here, but he's vanished as you watch. There was a street here. It's not here. You keep looking. There was a notice. There's one now, of bouncing away. There is information about the vanishing point of a street. One. I had invited Vito and Maria on the occasion of Mama Pius One turning 40. And I thought, who is an artist who really galvanizes the artistic energy and innovation and groundbreaking nature of like going into the city and dealing very early on with new media and new approaches? So who would that artist be who is like groundbreaking, experimental and is challenging, like this institution is and still is 40 years later? Vito, do you recognize the street? I do, I mean, but it's, it's different now. Yeah. You know, 40 or 50 years later. I hope we're going to open. Yeah. And I hope we're going to open with a project all of us yeah. want to do. Like, what can our crew most effectively do today so we're moving forward? Finishing this. Yeah. yeah. Great. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're still far away from being finished. Great. I Just don't understand second. why some Richard, things were Margaret. white and black but you and know some you things were. weren't. From where we're, we're standing. Uh, why? Why wouldn't somebody call you? He was very hesitant to do this show because Vito does not like to go back to his past. I was adamant that we had to incorporate architecture design to say, look, this is what Vito's doing now. Everything is very calculated because Vito and I are both very meticulous. I wanted to make some kind of statement that comes from me. So where we are now, whereas where are we now is too kind of flimsy. We can kind of trick it because then in the parentheses is who are we anyway? <laughs> this whole text is 36 pages. There's, there's no way we're going to fit 36 pages. So I, I think we just fit what fits in yeah. that space, exactly. basically. It's kind of hard for me not to say something else. I would like to get it done by Friday. Yeah, yeah, no, we need to start writing tomorrow if we've got yeah. any chance of getting it done. He's very particular about, you know, the spaces in between paragraphs and some the width of some columns being wider and some being thinner. One, two, three, four, five. Do you think you'll get it done in time? Yeah, he's going to come by Sunday. I guess we'll see what happens at that point. But we have until one o'clock tonight. It is the day in as much as we... It's a moment of truth, and we will see if the show actually opens. And we have worked for three and a half months in the exhibition space, and all of a sudden we have constructed something, so architecture has been realized and produced. I'm about to press the send button yes. on the invite. Shall I really do that? Yes. Good. Vito? I send it to three and a half thousand people who are showing up here on Sunday. You have to know that. Now it's out. Is that really true? Yes. Three and a half. We better have something. Seedbed for me yeah. was as such a historical piece really grounded you, and no pun intended, but it grounded you as an artist well, in everybody's eyes. Maybe, maybe you I, changed maybe, the art world. Maybe I made a mistake in grounding myself with that. The big mistake was everything came from one point. I really screwed, screwed up the piece. You screwed up the piece, still you made art history. Are you a perfectionist, Vito? I try to be, but I fail. I really felt like I had nothing to do with art. Art to me was kind of fakery. I despised calling what I did art. I thought of them as, act as activities. I think many of his early instruction pieces and early investigations are literally premonition and anticipation of social media, of documenting every single moment of your life. But then you see Vito more than 40 years earlier creating a selfie or a self-portrait. I think Vito Akonchi very often is about seducing the camera, and that's what Snapchat or Instagram or YouTube very often are. From seeing Vito, you kind of get the sense, wait a second, I can be alone in my bedroom and film myself doing whatever I want to do. I think Vito made it more comfortable, and he made it not a big deal in a sense. There's got to be somebody who 
There's got to be somebody watching me, somebody who wants to come in close to me. I hope that people will be able to experience Vito from the past and into the future. I think he's sort of, I don't want to say shell shocks, but maybe that's the right word. He has sort of a PTSD of 1968 to 1973. The people have kept him in a, a prison. He feels like he hasn't been able to expand into what he wants to be right now. I can't imagine what it'd be like to kind of just always be associated with that when actually you've kind of moved on from that a little bit and you're interested in doing something else, perhaps. So that's why maybe this has been quite an interesting or difficult process for him because he is trying to somehow put that back into something that's relevant with, for him now. It always bothers me though that I don't think as many people think of me as doing architecture. And I, and that, that kind of saddens me. And I wonder with you, Vito, if you ever in the evening sit down and are a little proud of all the amazing achievements you made. I'm always trying to do something new. I always hope that I never do something that is a second attempt at a project that I've already done. Mm -hmm. I would think this doesn't mean anything. I already knew it. Yeah. I didn't take care of too hard on yourself. I don't know. I'd rather be hard on myself. <laughs> I have made my point. I make it again. It. Now you get the point. Wow. I think it's really amazing. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it fits the walls. It's so nice. Right? Thank you so much. Are you happy? Yes. I'm mildly proud. <laughs> really? Because it's, it's, I should be proud for you. I think if you look at the poetry and you look at the reading, it's a focus is very much more on not stopping than on detail. And by declaring certain details to be worked out, it's guaranteed that the process goes on. I think that's very important. The process for Vito is like a Moebius strip, you know, something that's continuous, that keeps on going, it's never ending. That's Vito. It's always like he wants to make it better than the last time he did it, you know? It didn't exist before in this sort of way, so I think he's been quite particular about it and wanting to kind of translate what he did before. Like when you're making something, it can change. When it's finished and it's made, then it is what it is. Something changing means it's alive. I am here again, again, again. Three days and three nights. <laughs> and then we got, until last night, we got there. So it will take two more days, and that will take three more nights. It's beautiful, right? I looked up at it, and then it was down. When I looked there, every which way, until I had asked, what? After it disappeared, it did. Vito, Maria, your show is incredible. Aren't you very happy? <laughs> he loves it. hopeful that the way the show ends with this diving board but doesn't really this is a diving off point for the future I think he sees himself as having been an artist for a certain time temporarily an artist so I think he is always looking for new boundaries to then once he inhabits his space to move on I congratulate all three of you <laughs> That monitor should be, yes. should be down. I saw that too. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I saw that too. You're right. <laughs> I think he's very pleased that it came together like it did. But you know, everything is about compromise. Big toast to Vino and Maria. Did you have any positive feedback? 
Well, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard to tell now because uh, they had to really change things. And the way they wanted to change things was to have black print on white paper. And I think, I think that, was, that, was a, that was a kind of mistake. Was there anything you liked about the show? The things I liked were, uh, I think we tried to do some things too fast. And when you're trying to do something too fast, it was always a kind of problem. And I, they just ran, ran out of time. But that's something you didn't like. Uh, but, what, but is there anything that you did like? Say one positive thing. Say it. Well, no, no, I, I mean, I already said that. No, you that didn't. I kind of can't because really? I can't see it. I am here as I go by. Gain. 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 He's constantly growing. He's constantly changing. Because nothing is ever good enough for Vito. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Ideally, I'd like to do a project that goes on forever.